Hey guys, welcome back to Phasmophobia. I've always wanted to attempt a no electronics challenge on the original Asylum, and it's only a matter of time before it's replaced with Sunny Meadows. So I finally mustered up the courage to give it a try. I hope you enjoy! So we have Carol Douglas, we need to capture a photo. Can't do that. A lot of candle we can do, and witness a ghost event, also do. Now I've, I've jacked up the brightness uh, as much as like comfortably possible. So that, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. So that when we're walking around, maybe there's a chance we can see things. And we're gonna take in a candle, a lighter, and a glow stick. I think our game plan is going to be that we go in, carry around the candle. Let's see, where's our breaker? Breaker? I didn't see it. Oh, there you are. Okay, so that's where our breaker is. We're gonna go get that breaker on. Maybe the lights will stay on long enough for it to be useful. Otherwise, we're gonna go just go around and close every single door that ha is open by default so that then we can go around and check to see what doors have been opened by the ghost. So, uh, it's very dark. I'm gonna crouch so that we can actually see the ground. That's closed. I've been really wanting to try this challenge for a while, um, but it seems terrifying and very challenging, but I gotta do it before they up update Asylum and turn it into Sunny me Meadows. What is that? Should also be listening for sound. Can I just say, I hate how loud the footstep sounds are on Asylum. Like, it's just, it's a little overwhelming. Though if I'm being entirely honest, I also don't like the ticking clock sound in the smaller maps. Like, I also feel like that is way too loud. Eh. Meh. Meh. This door's already open. Okay, we got a breaker. Wet floor. Screw you. Okay. Oh, wait. The lights are all back that way. Here, we'll go downstairs first. We can get a light on. There we go. But as long as we have the candle, the candle will prevent sanity drain from being in the dark. Uh, so that the only thing the sanity drain is caused from is ghost events or ghost abilities, stuff like that. So that'll help us stay sane long enough to figure out where this ghost is. Yeah. So far I haven't heard anything. So we're just gonna keep walking around, closing all doors. Okay, no. Door? Oh my god, I heard a door. What door did it touch? Oh my god. Okay, this shower's on. I, I don't know what door it touched. Let's quickly look uh, for fingerprints somewhere. Touch this door. This one's definitely wide open. Don't see any fingerprints. This is definitely in this area. Still no fingerprints. Okay. So it's definitely down this way. It had to have been one of those open doors, right? Because it wasn't the sound of a door closing. It was just getting touched. So no fingerprints, I would say. Unless it's an evil little Obake who's just hiding the fingerprints for one time. But hopefully not. Let's see. Do we have freezing temps anywhere? Can I also turn this off, please? Thank you. Come on, ghosty, give me freezing temps. That'd be real nice if you did that. 
What's this ghost name? Carol Douglas. Carol Douglas, can you give me a sign? Oh, we could also use the fact that uh, once we could get this ghost to blow out our candle, that's probably the room that it's in. Carol, can you give me a sign? Where are you? Carol, can you give me a sign? Are you near? So far, still nothing. Be great if I had some kind of freezing temps or something. I'm in a bucket. Carol, can you give me a sign? Are you near? Can you blow out my candle, please? Oh god, I'm so scared I'm gonna break the blade break the blow the breaker. Also, the lights in here suck. <gasps> well, that was a ghost blowing out. Did you hear the puff of air? So that because that's how you could tell the difference between a candle going out by itself versus the ghost blowing it out. You can hear the little <sighs> that goes with it. So I think we have a ghost. Let's see. Do we have any fingerprints on like the windows? New and new. All right. Okay, so I think the ghost is either just wandering to this room or they're actually here. So let's let's leave that and go grab what was that? Grab some more equipment. Oh, I was I for a second I thought that was EMF5, but that is not necessarily EMF5. Cuz the EMF5 will show up on the activity chart as either activity level three, four, or five. So it could be EMF five, but there's no way of knowing for sure if it was or not. Anyways, the only evidence item we could really use is the ghost writing book. So I guess we go take that in. Maybe let's watch this for a second. How's, oh look, our sanity is amazing. That's the power of the candle. Ah! Okay. Ghost might be in here. Carol, can you give me a sign? Where are you? Are you near? It's a problem without the thermometer. I can't really confirm if this is actually the ghost room or not. Unless we have freezing temps. Which so far I have not seen. The ghost has done nothing but turn on a shower and touch a window, which it did not leave fingerprints on, hypothetically, assuming I checked all the right doors. Carol, can you give me a sign? Where are you? That one was just my candle going out by itself. Carol, where are you? Are you near? Carol? You know what, I think we're gonna leave this right here. We're gonna go grab a bunch more candles and the other ghost writing books, we can put that in two rooms. So that maybe there's a higher chance. What is on the ground right there? That's gross. Maybe there's a higher chance we can get some activity. So all, all it's doing now is, uh, is, well, nothing. It hasn't done anything in a while. All right, this is the fun part. I should, okay, there's the door. It should just be, yep, there we go, and there's the main lobby. We do have a voodoo doll. Uh, so if I use the voodoo doll, we might be able to increase activity and figure out its location a little bit faster, but then we also run the risk of getting a cursed hunt, uh, which means I might die. So I'm not sure if we want to go down that path yet, but we might have to eventually. Also, a crucifix would probably be good, and another candle. Let's go. Let's go. 
Anything? No. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. So we're gonna put this and this here. Maybe gra grab this. At least the glow stick gives us a little bit of light, but it will not keep our sanity from dropping. This ghost is doing nothing. Okay, I think it's voodoo doll time. So let's go get a smudge stick and the voodoo doll, and hopefully we won't, don't get brutally murdered immediately, because that would kind of suck. That's, that's not what you want to see, actually. It's already hard enough finding a ghost on Asylum as it is. Uh, it's even worse when you get a non-active ghost. Okay. Oh no! Come here, little doo-doo doll. Where do you think you're going? Look at how cute he is. Look at that cute little face. Look into his eyes and tell me you don't love him. Um, do any of these open outwards? No. Those doors that open outwards are delightful for breaking line of sight. Hey, yeah. Why does Doodoo -doo Doll just glow constantly? Oh, come on. Well, shit. Break line of sight. Just keep running. Oh god. Just keep running. We'll be fine. What? Did it just speed up? Oh my god. Is it over? Oh no, it's not over. I can still hear it humming. The upside is, is we are now safe to use the rest of the voodoo doll. Because you can only get one cursed hunt. Now I just gotta find the stairs. D oh, stairs! Okay, I, th I think it's over. Let's uh, do a check. Where's that light switch? Wait, what stairs? Oh god. I hate this so much. Where the hell am I? Oh, oh my god. Okay, I know where I am. I just figured it out. I'm at the end of the hallway. Okay. Let's see. Is it... Okay, 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 okay. I know. I know. I know where I am. Holy sh... That was terrifying. Okay. So now we need to head down this way. Where's the wall? There we go. My sanity is draining this entire time, so that's bad. Okay, there's the first turn. Don't take that one. Second turn. Third turn. 
Now that leads to the stairs. I need one more turn. That's the part that always trips me up. It should be this turn to get to a door. Bed, okay. Sh oh, thank God, yes. I'm back at the main lobby. Holy God of hell, this is, this is bad. But here's, oh, oh. actually I don't want to turn that one on. Because we're not coming back down this way. This is the one we want. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh my god. Never again. But holy shit, that's EMF 5. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, yes. Okay. 60% sanity. I still haven't witnessed a ghost event. Uh, let's take some sanity pills. It's like 100% EMF 5. Because like, if you're in the map and you see a 5 spike, Always be a little cautious, because sometimes a ghost can just do a ghost event very far away from you, and that can show up as a five spike. But if you are outside the map and you see a jump of five, that's EMF five. Like, there's nothing else that can cause a five spike. So. There we have. Ugh. Nothing can usually cause a five spike. You can get tricked by either the twins or the poltergeist, just as a, a, a heads up. So always look for multiple EMF fives, always. So four and five spikes, those are what you wanna look for. I don't wanna go back in there, actually. Hey, okay, I got another smudge stick. Uh. Oh God, okay, let's take in another candle though. Oh, actually, Wraith was an option, ooh. If we could figure out where the ghost is, we could try to get footsteps, actually. So let's, let's go back in here for a second. Take another candle. See, hello, voodoo doll. You are an asshat. Let's see, where is that other candle? There we go. Okay, no ghost writing still. Let's go check the other one. Like at this point, the ghost could have moved to another room too. So that's gonna be a problem, but we can try. But now, we know we can't get hunted. So this is kind of a blessing in disguise. I heard absolutely nothing. Oh, well, that was right next. Oh my God, yes, 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 yes. Okay, for sure, no fingerprints, yes. Oh my God, yes, okay, okay, but we have a ghost. I'm gonna leave a smudge stick here. Um. And actually lighter as well. Let's pull that out. Make sure it's fresh so it doesn't go out on me. But we're going to leave the lighter there. Wait, did you just kill the breaker? Oh, you suck, ghost. Okay. But we can go get salt. Check for a wraith because we can look for footprints. And the wraith is the only ghost that if it steps into the salt and walks away, it will not leave footprints with the UV light. So we can easily, easily check for that with no electronics. And by UV light, I mean glow stick in this case. Whoops. Words. Look at all that. That's another EMF 5. So for sure, not fingerprints. For sure, EMF 5. Still haven't seen freezing temps. Unfortunately, the only way to test if it's a Raiju is to see if it early hunts. Oh god, I don't want to do that. Okay, let's go. Actually, quickly, uh, let's reset Mr. Candle here. This is pro strats to make sure that it doesn't go out on you as you're running around. Cause yo, it does have a timer. And let's go get the breaker back on. Breaker! Boom. No ghost gonna hold me down. Nah, 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 nah. Not today, son. Was it a son? No, it was Carol, wasn't it? <laughs> Wall. Okay, hopefully she hasn't moved on us too much. Just have to be careful, because every time we pull a pin, our sanity gets drained a little bit. I think it's 5% per pin. Was that what it was? Running, running, running. No running, running, running. Oh, running, running, running. 
All right, ghosty. Don't you dare turn off the breaker. Was Jin an option? No, Jin's not an option. Jin is the ghost that cannot turn off the breaker. So if you ever get a ghost that turns off the breaker, ain't a, ain't a Jin, but that was not a choice. And a pro tip, uh, if you blow the breaker, when you go back to turn it on, all of the lights will be off. So that's how you can tell the difference between you blowing the breaker and the ghost shutting it off. Or, cause also if the ghost accidentally turns on a light and blows the breaker, you can check that way. Because that does not count. Uh, it just turned on a light. Okay, cool. You're still here. Oh my God. Uh, can you step in this salt please? Salt? Carol, can you please give me a sign? Okay. Okay, ghost is definitely here. Where's my lighter? Right there. Carol, can you please walk through the salt? Can you give us a sign? Still no ghost riding. Carol, give us a sign. Okay, not a wraith, not a wraith. Check, not a wraith. All right. Look at all them feet steps. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. And luckily, EMF5 automatically rules out the Mimic, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's see. A spirit, we can do a spirit test where once we are in hunting range and we smudge it, a spirit cannot hunt for three minutes afterwards, whereas all other ghosts can hunt after a minute and a half, except the demon, which can hunt after uh, a minute, but that doesn't matter right now. So let's see. Twins, uh, twins would be hard to test for. So far I haven't heard. <laughs> well, screw you, okay. Well, there's a ghost event for us, that's nice. Because <laughs> we needed that for an objective. Still haven't gotten ghost riding. I'm gonna put this right here because it seems to be standing over here. Let's use the voodoo doll again. I'm gonna hold this. Just blew out that candle. Bonk at a window. Other bonk at window. Can you please just uh, write in the book if you are a ghost riding book or throw it so I know you are not a ghost riding book. Go is that you're not a ghost writing book? Yeah. Ghost writing. Ghost, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. What the hell was that? Door. 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 God damn it, ghost. So, are you can I assume that you don't write in the book? <gasps> it tried to hunt! Run! Wait, no! No, no! Actually, smudge! Because we know it's right by this crucifix. Go! Okay, now if it hunts before three minutes is up, it can't be a spirit. Oh god, I'm scared. Did I not bring in the other crucifix? Okay. We are gonna go stand right over here, and after a minute and a half... Is there a light in this room? After a minute and a half, I'm gonna go back and check to see if it... hunted with their crucifix. Otherwise, we're gonna stay in here until then. Okay, it's touching the door. Because if it starts hunting, we can just quickly run and hide in here. Okay, we're at a, about a minute five. I didn't have my timer immediately ready, so that's a problem.
Oh god. I hate this. Okay, we're getting to a minute 30. It, okay. It cannot be a spirit. We live this. Like that. We don't want to lose drain our sanity. So let's go check our sanity. It's definitely not a shade because I'm pretty sure that was too early for a shade, even after pulling all those pins. Maybe. Still not over. Okay. Nope, still not over. Okay, now it's over. <laughs> okay, quick, we gotta go. Oh, what is wrong with the lights? Oh, that looks kind of awesome. Uh, But it's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> I'm okay with it because I can actually see. This is weird. Oh, there it goes. It was just taking a long time to fully shut off. Cool. Come on, keep running. You gotta go. I'm being hunted. Damn it. <laughs> oh, the fun of playing on Asylum. Honestly, they, sh they need to make the grace period in between hunts longer than all the other maps. Like, I don't think it's fair that after a hunt, you have like zero hope of getting back to the exit before I can hunt again. Like, that should be scaled based on the size of the map. I really, I can't hear the ghost. Okay, go. <laughs> oh my god. Hate it. We need to know what sanity it hunted at. So I've been holding the candle ever since. Interesting, interesting. Um, but the problem is we don't have freezing temps, right? The shade would have freezing temps. We haven't seen that. And also ghost riding. So I actually don't think it's a shade. We know it can't be a spirit, so it's a it's a freaking raiju. Did I do it? I guess There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Cause, uh, oh wait, there's no electronics around those, so then it can't early hunt. <gasps> Actually, let's just go do another check for freezing temps. If we do not have that, I think we gotta ride you on our hands. Yeah, I think I think that's our plan. Let's just do one more check, cause sometimes freezing temps can be very delayed. And we definitely don't want to accidentally miss that. 
The problem is with the Raiju, we can't really tell anything about it because we don't have electronics around. Because it only can early hunt and it's only fast if we have electronics. And well, by default, we are not using any electronic equipment, so we give it zero power, which means you can't tell it apart from any other ghost. So it's literally the hardest ghost to identify on a no evident or a no electronic uh, equipment challenge. So <laughs> look at me go. It all, it's only taken me, you know, like an hour. Actually, that's not bad for a no electronic run. Actually, I call that a success. Assuming my timer's right. But like, we definitely, we still don't have ghost riding. <laughs> well, hi, that was terrifying. So yeah, I, and I, I still, I don't see my breath, right? No breath, go hook. Yeah, okay, there's definitely no freezing temps in here. And no ghost riding. So I think, I think we gotta ride you. I think we did it. I think we got them, boys. Let's get out of here. I will legitimately sob tears of sorrow if I get this wrong. Because that means I'll have to redo the challenge because I want to do it successfully, obviously. Not that one. And hey, I only got lost once, right? <laughs> oh my god. That was terrifying though, can I just say? Running around in the darkness with just a lighter is not fun. I was sweating so badly, that was absolutely terrifying. But hey, that's why they call it a challenge. Woohoo! And if I get it right, we will celebrate. I don't know how, but we will. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Ugh. What if I just... What if I just missed the smudge? What if I didn't smudge properly and it was a spirit this whole time? Oh god, I'm so nervous. I don't want to look, I don't want to look, I don't, I, I don't want to look, I don't want to- Welcome back. <gasps> yeah! Sorry. <laughs> I did it! Oh my god! I did it, I did it, I got the right ghost. That was a successful, no electronic equipment challenge on Asylum. Oh my god. And only 170 experience points. That's sad. Like, they should have known I was doing a challenge and multiplied that by three. Less than an hour for a no electronic challenge and I got the right ghost. I am very happy with that. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give a like and subscribe for future Phasmophobia content. And if you'd like to see more challenge runs in the future, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. It means the world to me. I adore you. You all are amazing. Happy hunting out there.